Greetings and welcome to our series of weekly devotionals. This week we're looking at a passage in Paul's letter to the Philippians, uh, chapter 2, verses 5 to 11, an ancient Christian hymn uh, that describes who Jesus is for those of us who follow. I remember riding around in in the the countryside a few months ago, farmland, and I saw a sign on a barn, a huge sign that said, Jesus always wins. And uh, it reminded me of the mentality that so many Christians have uh, toward Christ and toward our Christian faith. Um, And there are some passages in Scripture that might lead us to believe these kinds of things. And Paul writes in in verse 9, rather, Therefore God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth, and under the earth. But as most scholars will attest to, these uh, kind of verses in Scripture don't uh, really, uh, they're not really about Jesus as some kind of superhuman being, uh, that Jesus is uh, always winning or victorious. It's not a, a, a victory march or some kind of triumphal uh, verse. Actually, what these voices, or what these verses attest to is The reality that in the person of Jesus and his death and resurrection on the cross, uh, self-giving love was found to be stronger than death. And that is is generally the message um, and how it was that Jesus, quote-unquote, won and was victorious. And we might think to ourselves about moments in our lives when we give, when we give of ourselves for others, when we're selfless in in our giving. I would imagine that although we might not want to admit it, those moments in time feel pretty good. And, and so it is with those who follow Christ. We are called to give of ourselves for others. And as the Apostle Paul uh, writes in another section of his letter, uh, following Jesus, uh, winning uh, the victory of Jesus is, as he describes, having nothing but possessing everything. Amen.